They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. So what are you gonna do when the ground slopes down toward your house and it's uneven and there's no place to park the car? Well, that's what we were running into in this situation. You know, the land up here from the driveway down to the house drops about five feet. So the decision was made to put up a retaining wall. Yes, a retaining wall. We could have used any number of materials. We could have used cross ties. We could have used some of those stackable blocks or rocks, but we chose brick because brick is something that we've used here on the farm before. We used brick on the fireplace. So I wanted to keep things consistent. So you see, I had to level the ground up here before I could begin the landscaping. And since I totally love plants, I had to get everything in place to get the first part of the planting in. You know, plants add so much to the curb appeal of a house. So what I've done here is I've used a really basic palette. I've used four plants. Two of them are evergreens and two of them are deciduous. Deciduous meaning they lose their leaves in the winter. No biggie because they're planted against boxwood green velvet. Now, it solves a problem. It's a solution plant in my opinion because it's gonna create a low hedge along here, sort of a bumper or a guard against the drop off to this wall. On the far end, I have a Yopon holly hedge. It will screen out anything I don't wanna see. Here are the deciduous plants. This is a ground cover rose. Yep, a rose that covers the ground. And you can see it's already beginning to bloom. This is called drift and it makes beautiful drifts of pink roses. And then here, as a specimen centerpiece is a vitex tree that blooms a beautiful lavender flower. So what I've done is I've juxtaposed those things that lose their leaves in the winter against those that don't. It becomes very harmonic. Now when we planted these plants, I made sure we did three things. We made sure the soil was prepared properly. The second thing is when I pulled the plants out of the containers, we made sure that the roots were all pulled apart and then we made sure once the soil was pulled back, we mulched it so we could keep plenty of moisture in and the weeds down. If you're enjoying these updates on the house, check in regularly. We got lots of ideas and I hope you'll apply some of these ideas to your place and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.